project I'm showing you today is a living shoreline project for erosion protection. This is a method for protecting properties from shoreline erosion that includes wetland vegetation and strategically placed stone to make the wetland possible where it naturally wouldn't occur. Hall Springs Farm consists of about 662 acres on Lormachotic Creek in Westmoreland County. In the fall of 2006, there were two major storms that did significant damage to our shoreline. From that point, we knew we needed to protect the bank and this 400-year-old oak tree and began research on living shoreline technologies. I was here one day and I was just walking in and I was standing over by the corner house. And I happened to look over and I said, look at me, that bank is giving away, it's, gone. it's losing away. So I walked over there and I see where the bank was caving away. That's why I went down, down to show you and walked around there. It had just undermined it from, 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 from the underneath there. From that point, we worked with the Virginia Institute of Marine Science as our primary partner in order to develop the Sill and Fringe Marsh project. That project has been tremendously successful. It has succeeded our expectations in terms of the uh, success of the marsh grasses, how quickly they've grown, and how substantially they have diminished the effect of storms. The main components of this Living Shoreline project are the stone sill, sand, and plants strategically placed away from the bank to provide wave reduction as well as habitat as compared to traditional erosion protection structures such as a bulkhead which is a vertical wall placed right up against the bank that doesn't include the vegetated component of the sill and also doesn't provide the same habitat values. We've had active citizen involvement here at Hull Springs Farm particularly in our marsh grass planting and uh, a number of citizen workshops that we've had on our Living Shoreline project. This Marsh Silt project is unique in that it's a public demonstration project that was designed and constructed through a partnership between Longwood University, the Virginia Institute of Marine Science, and others, including the funding agencies, the Chesapeake Bay Trust, and NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And through these funding partners, we were able to design and build this project that Longwood University now graciously opens to the public and to others interested in this approach so that they can see firsthand how it's designed, how it's constructed, and how it performs. This type of marsh sill project is not just for institutions and public properties. It's also for any homeowner who's interested in providing erosion protection for their property, particularly if you're located in a quiet creek setting but you still have an erosion problem that you feel needs to be fixed. We encourage using a living shoreline approach, and this is just one method here, that emphasizes integrating vegetation buffers, an approach we call integrated shoreline management. There's a big difference in the, in the bank. Much better. Stronger. <laughs> yes. Stronger. <laughs>